Hello everybody and welcome to a train simulator video. Today we shall be driving a class 37 diesel locomotive over the Cumbrian coastline from Millham to Barrow and return. So before we leave Millham we are going to have a quick look around the station. Like the detailing in the uh, in the footbridge there, that's nice. Got all the uh, usual platform clutter as well. Also got the uh, white sighting board behind the uh, semaphore signal as well to make it stand out more for drivers. Also got the uh, station sign at the top of the road bridge here as well. And the main station building is down here. Yes, all in all, a good representation of Millam. So we're going to unpause the game now and we are going to get ready to move uh, to our first station stop at Green Road. Now we just get bowled by a pace of air. So the scenario we are playing comes with the on-track uh, simulations uh, Cumbrian Coast and Furnace Railway route. Uh, the link I shall put in the description below. The scenario itself does start as a rolling uh, start, which means the train is already on the move as soon as you load the scenario up. However, just uh, just for a bit of ease of sight in the video, I just uh, decided to just bring the train to Millham and start the video from there. So it's, it's definitely nice to be driving the Class 37 again. I haven't driven it for a while. You'll also note that I don't have any uh, DRS branding on the train, uh, that's just because I haven't uh, installed the uh, branding patch.
And here we are at Green Road. So I shall just uh, pause the game and we shall have a quick look around here. Now Green Road is a re uh, one of the many request stops on the line. I've got the automatic uh, barriers here. Which are uh, which are locally monitored. Got the station car park there. And then we've got uh, waiting shelters here. Like the uh, 3D sign there, that's pretty nice. So yeah, that's a, that's a nice looking green road there. So the next station stop is at Foxfield now. Just going to slow us down to 20 miles per hour now for the next crossing.
So this is Foxfield, which is a custom uh, built station. So it's just a uh, single island platform here. And then we've got the rather interesting structure where the waiting room is an extension of the signal box. Got a nice 3D sign there. So a good attention to detail here. And just outside the station you've got a uh, just a pub just across the road here. We've also got the um, water, the old water tower here. And Coniston also used to be where oh, Foxfield uh, used to be where the uh, Coniston branch uh, diverged. So I think it, it used to go off like in this direction. So yeah, that's uh, Foxfield Station. So the next station stop is Kirby and Furnace. Pronounced with, uh, without the K in it. Kirby is also another request stop. We've got advance warning of an upcoming 25 miles per hour speed restriction and this is for the extremely tight curve which will take us round to Kirby.
like how the curve has been super elevated here. You can see the angle of tilt as well. So here we are at Kirby. So it's a rather basic station. Got the old waiting shelter here on the uh, Carlisle bound platform. Yeah, that's a very nice representation of Kirby there. So just wait for the instruction to clear.
Right, so here we are at Askham. So, I, if I just pause the game briefly, I don't know whether this is to do with the ro how the roads were built or not in the game, but uh, in real life for uh, Askham we have the uh, full size barriers instead of the uh, half ones. Um, and also, I don't know whether it's my install or not, but I seem to be missing a sign here, hence the, uh, the milk bottle. But apart from that, uh, there's no other problems with Askham. It's a really nice representation uh, of the station itself. Also like the, uh, the custom signal box model here as well. It's really nice. Um, Askham has, has been my main station of choice in recent years for coming and filming trains. Uh, and I do have a number of videos from there. Um, it's also where I went to get the uh, last uh, revenue earning loco hauled uh, movement uh, passenger service on the uh, Cumbrian coast as well. So I've got the, uh, the old long waiting sh shelter here uh, on the other platform. I've got someone's arm clipping through there as well. That's how uh, TS passengers work, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, really nice. Other than those two little blemishes, really nice representation of the uh, of the station here at Askham. And Askham is really easy for me to get to. It's literally like twenty minutes in the car, uh, and I usually park just down here on this street. Uh, and there's like a new housing. Uh, there's a new house. Just recently started building some new houses around in this corner here, where the trees are now. Got the bus stop here as well. Uh, unfortunately, there's no longer a commercial bus service that goes to Millen. Uh, Stagecoach withdrew their service a few years ago uh, with lack of passengers using it. I ended up speeding quite a bit in this uh, particular scenario, but I just can't help it with the 37. Just feel the urge to eke the extra couple of miles an hour out of the engine. 
So we're now slowing down to 30 now. We get the route indicator for the line towards Barrow. And this is Park South Junction for the Barrow avoiding lines. This sleep is uh, switched out of section uh, during the weekends. And it sees use by uh, freight and uh, private rail tours. And it's now single track, uh, pretty much all the way into Barrow now. So we have received advance warning for the 10 mile an hour speed restriction across the uh, uh, sand scale level crossing. Interestingly, as the uh, speed limit is different uh, depending on the direction of travel, trains travelling towards Barrow are restricted to 10 miles per hour, and that's because of the uh, blind spot around the curve. Uh, but if you're travelling out of Barrow, you can go, uh, trains can go across at a maximum speed of 40. 40, I think the 40 just applies to multiple units and it's slightly lower for loco hold sets. And I've just had a uh, intervention by the uh, safety device there. Yeah, travelling out of Barrow, uh, locos are restricted to 35 for the crossing uh, and DMUs are 40.
and I've had another intervention from uh, the DST there. So for the final stretch into Barrow now, the uh, line parallels the A590, uh, which is actually just beyond the trees over there. Yeah, so this is the, uh, the A590, the main road into Barrow, which we actually passed beneath uh, Park South Junction, just under the bridge by the signal box. Got back lane that goes up there, up towards uh, Hawcourt, which is the uh, posher end of Barrow. Down here we have uh, a few factories and warehouses. And this is where Ormskill, uh, the residential area of Ormskill is as well. And we have the uh, slag bank uh, over here as well, which is a big hill there. Coming alongside the uh, carro, uh, the sorry, sorry, the uh, carriage sidings at Barrow now. Got another pace uh, stable in there. And we do have the road into platform three. Which is the uh, bay platform.
and here we are at Barrow. So yeah, that's a really nice run. I know I did say uh, there is a uh, this scenario. In this scenario, you can um, change ends and head back to Milan. But I'm actually going to end the video here because we've been recording for about 40 minutes now. So I do thoroughly recommend a download of the uh, this uh, the Cumbrian Coast and Furnace Railway route. So once again, the link will be in the in the uh, description and I hope you've enjoyed watching the last couple of videos I've certainly enjoyed uh, looking at the route and driving the trains along it and I am very much looking forward to uh, future updates from the route in the near future so thank you very much for watching the video hope you've all enjoyed it if you would like to stay up to date with what I post then please do feel free to subscribe and turn on notifications so that YouTube can notify you of a new video you could also leave a like and a comment if you wish as well. But apart from that, thank you very much for watching and take care.